what I really wish we uh, all take out uh, today from uh, from the session is to take one concept or one idea that we learned today and similarly to the ambition that COP28 has which is to deliver impact is really we we take it to transform some of the pledges we have or our organization have into into real impact that can make a meaningful change. I think the, the biggest thing that I'm focused on both from uh, my previous life as an architect and, and working on urban planning is very much on net zero and um, circular economy and looking at city development that um, really propagates the, the notion of 15 minute city. So it's all inclusive and when you look at developments that are hyper focused on low or no carbon mobility um, and you look at having all inclusivity. I think that really helps, that change in defragmentation in urban planning really helps change uh, the needle when it comes to green cities and sort of it sets up a model for development moving forward. Veolia is a waste management company. I'm in charge of uh, developing a, a digital solution uh, which is a full ecosystem where we can capture the maximum of data but of course of raw material which is mainly a PET bottle. We are focusing on other type of product that we would like to create a security around it. And today uh, we are able to say that we reach a point that uh, we can recycle 100% of our bottle in the UE. That's a great uh, thing, but it's just uh, the starting point because uh, for me, I believe that uh, talking about sustainability, circularity, it's a long-term process. So of course, when we launch a, a new project like that, uh, we need the support of the government through regulation or subsidies, but also from the private sector uh, to make sure that we can see a long-term vision where everyone will have a payback at the end. And this is the most difficult challenge that I, fa I face today, uh, a balance between uh, economics, finance and uh, environmental uh, conservation. For me, uh, sensitivity needs a commitment for all, all of us. So regardless the the the, the position that we have, sustainability need to be championed by every uh, every level of society. We cannot work in silo. So the the collaboration in all aspects is, is very is more very kind, is very important, not only for Middle East but in the in the other region. In my view, sustainability and decarbonization is a journey that involves a partnership between the public and the private sector. Um, the idea is to be ready for the future, whether that future involves physical threats, um, such as consumer trends or uh, public policies and regulations. And throughout this journey, there is a different components that need to be considered. It's um, sort of um, sustainability or carbon literacy uh, and, um, and having an open mind towards innovative ideas and digital ecosystems that support entities with um, identifying their um, emissions, their threats um, and sort of digitizing this process to support them towards their goal of net zero. My key takeaway is that Collaboration and partnership is absolutely key to accelerating our um, impact and driving climate action. Whether that is peer-to-peer -peer learning, like we're doing today, um, private public um, engagement. I think another thing is, you know, we have a lot of the answers. We actually have a lot of the solutions and the tools. We just need to take action. For us, sustainability in Siemens is a culture which has been created from the top and this is, has been enforced and we leave this in Siemens in all our business aspects. And when we look to the solution what the transportation industry needs today, we have also to keep in mind what we discussed earlier. This is not only about innovation or growth, it's about a profitable growth. Because if the industry is not profitable, the growth is meaningless. And this, when we take an example, is what we do for our trains, for example, we don't only change the type of energy uh, from diesel to hydrogen, and we say this is a renewable energy and unlimited resources, but we also wisely use it. Um, I guess uh, one of the biggest focuses for me has been uh, climate change um, and environmental sustainability, and a huge focus on how we can make our supply chain more sustainable. 
If I could share, I guess, one message which um, engulfs the kind of mindset that an approach we're taking at Shadhoop Group is uh, to uh, keep acting as much as possible. Um, don't don't stop, accelerate your uh, climate action and don't necessarily wait for regulation and policy to back you up. Do as much as you can. We are in a region that is extremely, um, uh, has, uh, has a strong leadership, has a strong vision when it comes to sustainability. Uh, I guess it's a matter of time and we can really expect change to happen quickly. As our tagline says, we believe in changing mindsets. Uh, we believe in education, in awareness and also starting from youth. They have a very big role to play. We're putting a lot of pressure on them uh, to you know, take and lead in the future with, uh, with a lot of challenges that await them. So I believe that it's a community effort. It's definitely a partnership between public and private sector, but we also need to think about individuals, how to mobilize them, how to grow together, work together, partner to reach some sort of impact. And I think that uh, my takeaway is that there is not a silver bullet. I mean, we need to work from many different fronts and this is what we are doing at the agency. We work on innovation, on regulation, on partnerships, on knowledge and science, and uh, we, we need uh, all this uh, together in order to uh, achieve sustainability. At Desert Board, we have successfully innovated um, a nature-based green building material and I'm proud to say that decarbonizing the construction industry is our mission and we are acting on it. I think humans then deliberately set out to destroy the planet. They were not aware, they're still not aware. So I think the biggest opportunity and challenge is to raise awareness and it's probably the best lever to drive sustainability. Just as sustainable development fundamentally teaches us that everything is in community, I think uh, continuing the conversations in this group is, is important and, and will continue to bear a lot of fruit. We know that to reach our targets in terms of sustainability, we're going to have to change the mindsets. But we also know that changing mindsets is going to take a lot of time and we don't have that much time in front of us. So we really need regulations to accelerate their journey and we shouldn't be afraid to take bold actions to get there.